Welcome back everybody to Central Minnesota Firewood. My name's Eli and I put a few firewood bundles here together. Uh, when you guys watch this, it'll be Sunday after 4th of July. So I'm kind of getting ready, um, kind of getting ready to have a few extra bundles just in case I do sell some wood over the 4th here. Um, I'm going to be out of town, actually going to Lake of the Woods on a fishing trip over the 4th, and looking forward to that. But what I need to do in case I do have some things from the roadside stand actually get sold is make sure that I have some extra stuff kind of put together that the people who are kind of house sitting for us. We'll have some extra bundles to put out. But I have some questions about bundles. So, so I have my little label. This kind of says what the firewood is. Camp firewood uh, has my phone number on there. If you're looking for more wood, uh, what do you guys put on your label is one question I have. And then I have another question about something a little more serious. Uh, something happened in my hometown here that has to do with integrity and this kind of selling firewood has me thinking, just my mind is on that integrity or ethics mindset right now, or it's on my mind or however you want to say it. Um, so my question is, is there something that you won't put in a bundle of say campfire wood versus something that you're selling for someone who's going to heat their home? Um, like, will you not put oak in campfire wood or will you not put pine in like a, a heating bundle? Uh, as to to go with your own integrity is there stuff that you won't sell or is there stuff that you choose to not sell um, not that you won't but but you kind of choose not to uh, me kind of being new to this and oops, not having a customer base and not knowing exactly what the area is looking for uh, that's a couple of questions that I have. Um, also, if you've seen my roadside stand, is there anything major that I should maybe consider doing to improve that? It has been out now for a whole day as I'm recording this. And not surprising, nobody stopped yesterday. Um, I do have a, a kind of a big banner sign at the end of my driveway so people can kind of see it or it draws attention to our yard anyway. Uh, do you guys do anything like that? Um, how many bundles do you have ready to go at one time? Or do you have a goal that you like to have Bundles pre-made, like a, a set number, like always 20 bundles or 40 bundles or 100 bundles already made up. I forgot my label. Or, or something along those lines. Um, obviously, if you are a high volume seller, those numbers would be higher. Um, right now, I feel like if I have 10 bundles made up, that might be good for the entire month of July. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and then also on the video that I put out about the bundler that I made here, a lot of people said that my bundles are huge, which I'm okay with at the time. Um, 
but it did get me thinking. A lot of people said that they're they're not too big to sell, um, but they're they're awfully big to handle, and and that's something that I guess I never really took into consideration. Um, so how big how big are the bundles that you sell, uh, size wise and and roughly weight? Obviously the the type of wood that's in the bundles is going to affect the weight of the bundle. Um, and then how about the size pieces of wood? Um, does that vary for you if you're selling like a heating, like a winter heating bundle or bag? As far as your splits go, like what size splits are you shooting for for your bundles? Does it not make a difference um, for you yourself? And then I guess I'm opening up for any feedback anybody could give me. Speed this up a little bit. Oh, I have one more question I just thought of. How long did it take for you to get your first sale on your roadside stand? Um, I was kind of thinking because I put my stand out the weekend prior to 4th of July and I live in a an area that people come to vacation to and there's a ton of road traffic right now as I'm making these bundles going past our house that the the amount of time that that stuff's going to have to sit before I get my first sale is going to be reduced just because of the sheer amount of people that are that are coming by. Um, not surprised I didn't sell anything yesterday. Not surprised I haven't sold anything today. Um, but I guess that I would be surprised that if we got all the way through the fourth and both weekends around the fourth, if I haven't sold anything. So how long did it take you to make your first sale and then to have kind of steady flow? at your roadside stand. That's uh, one big question I've got. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you could answer those questions, I really appreciate it. Like I said earlier, hope everybody had a great 4th of July. Thanks for joining me today. If you took the time to comment, I really appreciate it. Um, you have no idea how much that helps me out. I'm stumbling my way through this, uh, enjoying every minute, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Thanks again.